some people just, you know, they've been gifted with not having that problem. So they don't understand that a little bit of this and a little bit of that can trigger a, a person's physiology into an overwhelm cascade. And I mean, even a little bit of what people might call healthy carbs often is, is just intolerable to the system. Maybe you could explain a little bit of that, maybe that journey for somebody who might be listening to this and go, wait, I never, I didn't understand that that was even an option for me. Oh, absolutely. So food addictions, well, especially sugar addiction, like, oh. that's what I experienced, you know, that yeah. typically led me into a vicious cycle of bulimia and anorexia. It was just a vicious cycle. And everybody, um, everyone who had a family history of any kind of addiction, alcohol or substance uh, addiction, they need to watch out. Certain patterns, scenarios yeah. and deficiencies in amino acids, they, they've been passed to you too. Oh, okay, Hi. we're like twinsies. <laughs> okay, so I was just telling them I was gonna, you know, not, not everybody maybe knows your faces, but they've seen, you know, me and tons of other people. Like, we love this meat. <laughs> we love, nice. we love these carnivore Chris, right? Um, and now you guys are in the meat game. Yes, right I'm in the meat game. Yeah, well, now I mean like you're in the steak game. Oh, yes. Okay, let me yes. say it that way. Like now we're getting into the steak and the people yes. can order. So why don't you, uh, you know, tell everybody a little bit who you are? Because they've seen me, you know, Carnivore Chris. You guys know I sell it at on my store. Um, they're amazing, you know. I, I'm pretty lazy and I just turn them into nachos all the time. Nice. That's, that, that's the no way to do it for way. me. Yeah, that's <laughs> like, you know. It takes like 40 seconds and there's dinner. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Quick I'm about the laziest chef on earth. <laughs> <laughs> well, I you introduce yourself so my people get to know who you are and understand why there's so many of us supporting you. So this is Anya? Yeah, I guess I'll start. So um, I'm pretty much um, a carnivore here. Um, two years ago, I found out about, found out about carnivore, so I adopted it and loving it ever since, you know. Uh, prior to that, uh, I was keto for a while, maybe like 10 years plus. But what really started me on this journey was uh, my eating disorder. Mm. And traditional therapy plus standard, standard American diet, they didn't work for me. Right. So I, I started exploring and uh, I found out about, well, I found out from my Russian girlfriend and she called the diet Kremlin diet. Ketogenic Kremlin? diet. Yes. That so apparently okay. <laughs> they used to use it while back. They use, know, yeah, the Russia. Carnivore. Yeah, mm -hmm. the Russians have been using carnivore in psychiatric um, interventions for a very, very long time. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, that's how I started on it. And uh, Hans, he'd been in the meat industry. Well, he was working with uh, creating beef jerky and meat products since I think he was 13. Yeah. When he found what? out... Yeah. yeah, on the baseball field that you can make your own jerky. Yeah. Right. Because most <laughs> so just, jerky, most jerky out there that people are buying, it's it's total garbage and crap. I won't allow my son to eat it. I wouldn't buy it. It's full. I mean, it's shockingly toxic and disgusting. And good luck finding one without soy, you know. So I was stunned with how good yours is. Like, how simple. It's simple. it's literally meat and salt. Yeah. <laughs> like, why are they doing all this other stuff to it? So why you've been making jerky that long? That's yeah, a as a, mainly as a, as a hobby at that time. We've been in business for uh, over 12 years now. So as a, yeah. as a USDA plant and, and yeah, making jerky. So not carnivore crisps. We launched okay. that, you know, when we, we started investigating and Anya learned about the carnivore diet and, and uh, creating that product. But um, we were making cleaner jerkies. So some okay. of them did have sugar in them and some of them did have you know, yeah. soy sauce, but we, we had a whole line of uh, sugar-free, gluten-free, um, really clean ones using like Bragg's liquid aminos, um, you know, uh, uh, amino acids. Or, and, just, or just plain, or like, just Brazil, plain. like yes. Brazilian style. That's what yeah. kind of transitioned into Salt carnivore and crisps. Meat. Salt That's and meat. It. Yeah. It was not yeah. popular mm -hmm. at that time. But what, like, anybody who tried right. it was like, wow, you know, it was, right. it's, it's all so about the good. process and, and make, you know, making it that good because you can try to make it at home, but it's not going to turn out like, uh, no. 
Yeah. I don't know what you're doing. I had yeah. a dehydrator. <laughs> I bought a dehydrator. I was trying to do it. It did not taste that good. And so I have henceforth gotten rid of it. Because I'm like, this, I'm not, my return on investment for me wasn't good. I'm like, this is not, you know, yeah. really enjoyable that much. And when people would make it for me, I'd have patience or people bring it in. And I'm like, I knew they were putting crap in it. I'm like, I can't yeah. do this. You know what I mean? I, they don't understand that how picky I would be around it. So, yeah, the Carnivore Crisps is extraordinary, right? Those are Thank just you. amazing. And yeah, I, yeah. I, they're awesome. And, you know, that's the kind of thing, again, I'm not a, I'm not a, I don't promote snacking at all. I don't like anybody to snack. I mean, again, when you get as old as me, we can't afford to snack. I have to have every meal be an opportunity to build muscle. I'm almost 50. But children great. and teens, you know, they eat a lot, right? They, they yeah. snack and all this kind of stuff. So, and I, it's, great for hiking and going out and doing things camping and throwing it in your kids lunch or throwing it in their bag for like their after school you know so they can be grabbing sure. something that actually has nutrition yeah. and by eating that it mitigates how much of the junk you're going to eat again kids yeah. are going to eat more carbs because it's just life but um Anya, i'm interested for you just briefly you know with the eating disorders um i see a lot of that i don't specialize in that per se i usually get also help how did you, let me just say, so I know, you know, keto really helps people a lot being low carb in general, right? People don't really understand. And I don't have an eating disorder, right? But I, 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 my level of irritation for you guys, when I hear people in the industry or hear people talk about, you know, everything in moderation, um, things of that nature, right? Because people just do not understand the nature of what can happen. Like we would never tell an alcoholic to do it in moderation. We never tell a drug addict to do something. I mean, it's, it, that sounds like lunacy. Well, you could have a little bit of crack. I mean, come on, a little meth isn't gonna hurt you. You know, nobody would ever think to say that. Like, well, you can have beer, just not tequila, right? Nobody says that to somebody. But when it comes to food and somebody who's dealing with that, it's really, really interesting that some people just, you know, they've been gifted with not having that problem. So they don't understand that a little bit of this and a little bit of that can trigger a, a person's physiology into an overwhelm cascade. And I mean, even a little bit of what people might call healthy carbs often is, is just intolerable to the system. Maybe you could explain a little bit of that, maybe that journey for somebody who might be listening to this and go, wait, I never, I didn't understand that that was even an option for me. Oh, absolutely. So food addictions, well, especially sugar addiction, like, oh. that's what I experienced, you know, that yeah. really led me into vicious cycle of bulimia and anorexia. It was just a vicious cycle. And everybody, um, everyone who had a family history of any kind of addiction, alcohol or substance uh, addiction, they need to watch out certain patterns, scenarios, yeah. and deficiencies in amino acids, they, they've been passed to you too. Mm -hmm. And for it's me- It's usually sugar, a genetic code. So anxiety, yes. depression, and OCD are on, sit on the same like log of DNA. And so there can be different epigenetic reasons that gets triggered in a person. Um, and, and gluten and soy, certain things all trigger very strongly. They're often it. Many people are alcoholics because it's gluten addiction, really. Like mm -hmm. they might not have become an alcoholic if it was potato vodka they were drinking. So it's very unique in what can happen to a person. But yeah, they sit on the same DNA. So it's very easy for, and eating disorders are just a form of their, their addiction, OCD issue going on as well yeah you're absolutely right i want people to hear that like if you have that in your family i have a lot of it in mine yeah. <laughs> so um and sugar i do have to keep at bay it can get i, I luckily didn't, it didn't get to that level with me but it's hard i i do understand it yeah so that's that's how it happened you know for me and when i was going through therapy and I also went to see nutritionist and I had food journal and she was nicest lady, but she was really old school. She didn't yeah. have necessary knowledge, you know, yeah. around this topic. And she would suggest to me, just in moderation, buy your sweets in Halloween size, fun size, yeah. smaller ones. And I was following this advice for a while, but it did not work. I see that so much when they come and I went, they told you what? To have one cookie a day? I mean, I literally go, 
they know you're an alcoholic, right? They, or they knew you eat, like, and even people that have a really strong history of addiction, I go, I, I can't believe this is what they're telling you. You, you know, when you yo-yo at a hundred pounds and you have an eating disorder or whatever, like I, it's, yeah, it's some really bad therapy and some bad coaching. So I'm so glad you, somebody, you know, you knew somebody, your friend told you, right? And again, I was stunned, you know, the, a lot of, where are you, where are you from? From are Russia. You, you are I Russian, okay. Yeah, so it's almost 17 years here. Okay. It's really interesting because there's a tremendous, you know, because of the way the political scene was, Russia kept a lot, they have a lot of secrets, right? They, there's a lot we don't know that they've been doing. Um, Tomsk University in Siberia, there's a lot of research I'm finally get, we're getting out of them in terms of longevity and health and healing, but Russian devices and Russian understanding of healing through diet and electromagnetic devices and pyramids is truly extraordinary. So there's so many cures and solutions that the Russians have had that we're just now starting to get after you know, 20, 30 years of the wall being down, you know what I mean, of the whole Reagan Gorbachev thing. So now we're getting more access and a lot of the scientists are kind of like, Shh, hey, let me show you what we've been doing you know, because we, we're now friends with each other. But Russia has kept a lot of incredible secrets. So, um, and when I found out, I've been using this kind of way of eating. So in, in psychiatric purposes, this has been going on a long time and understanding that the Russians have been doing this for decades, they understood this. And it was kind of Natasha Campbell McBride coming up with the GAPS diets kind of made it more famous because she has like a carnivore version, but it's very animal based meat heavy and that's because they figured this all out by studying their their longevity groups in siberia who are all carnivore and they live to be 140 nice. as well women are pregnant at 60 in wow. siberia wow. yeah wow. that's her plan 120 uh, yeah greater. i'm planning yeah. 120 plus yeah yeah I believe it. She'll, she'll a lot of it. meat a lot of sunlight a lot of cold yeah. <laughs> you'll get there yeah. <laughs> all right so tell everybody so that's an interesting background so the two are you guys together yeah. Yeah. Okay. I, I, I thought I didn't want to assume. Um, <laughs> so now you're on this journey. You've been with carnivore crisps, and now tell us about the meat. Because I gotta tell you, it. Uh, I just only had the uh, filet mignon last yeah. night or the night before. Wow, is it good? Nice. I mean, Thank you. we were all. Everybody was like, "Oh man, this is really good." This is, so I have about four different ranchers' meats in my freezer right now. Different, you know different parts of the country, local yeah. and, and Vegas and uh, uh, um, your Vegas area, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, anyway, it, the meat is different. It tastes different yeah. based on what the animals what eat, eating. right? Yeah, the grass. Yeah. yeah. So yours is really good. Nice. We were, Thank you. We were all like, wow, this is really yeah. good meat. You know? Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Tell, tell everybody about it a little bit. So everything is handpicked. So, you know, we, we're in the meat in industry. And uh, with Carnivore Crisp, where, where, you know, you come across all these amazing different cuts and a lot of cuts that nobody knows about, you know? I know, Terry's, so, I was like, these are old school cuts. I went, yeah. what is this? Yeah. yeah. I don't know it's about like some the, of that. The yeah. butcher's secret, you know, it's, yeah. it's those kind of things. Like, you know, the, the Denver steak, the, the bavettes, the, you know, all these little gems that people don't know about that they're missing, you know? Um, everybody knows that ribeyes are great and, and fillets are great, but these are hand-picked. So... If we're using, you know, thousands of pounds for, for carnivore crisp, we're handpicking these particular cuts and then, and then cutting them up and packing them for steaks because um, carnivore crisps are, are amazing. But like, you know, as far as like the, the, the marbling and, and that doesn't really transition that well with, with the crisps, you know, a lot of the fat gets cooked off. So um, it doesn't really shine. So, um, you know, these are hand-picked specifically for an amazing steak experience. Yeah, and, there were some uh, I never heard of. I was yeah, like, oh, yeah. what, is, cool. what is this? Yeah. I mean, I'm going to have to look it up, you know? Yeah, we've yeah. got butchers but, that are like 30 plus years in the industry. Yeah. So I had they a chef know. look at it, though. I had yeah. a chef who was here. was like, oh, nice. oh uh, excuse me, you know what this is? I said, not really. They're like, this is some good meat. Yeah. <laughs> that's like, yeah. Oh, yeah. that's awesome. Yes. Yeah. And, and that's what you're going to find. So, um, with that being said, we're, we're utilizing every part of the animal 
And uh, it, so everything goes to its proper home. So all those nice marbled, you know, amazing steaks go to the, the steak boxes. The other amazing steaks go into to Carnivore Crisp, any of the trim and, and leftover Tallow, stuff. Dog treats. Dog treats, tallow, and or um, we've got an amazing, I don't know if you tried the organ beef, uh, the beef organ blend yet, but. Not yet, um, no, I'm excited ooh, though. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's so good. Like, and yeah. I did the So that's like ground, it was like ground beef and some organs, right? Yep, I, I yep, like those liver, primal kind of blends. And yeah. heart. Yep. So, um, so those three in a perfect proportion. So that took a lot of time and effort of, of yeah. taste testing and my kids tried it. You can't even tell, um, you know, so for anybody who's shy on the organs, yeah. Um, this is like the one for you, but it's, it's, okay. uh, it's really good. So I'm so I, happy I'm excited. that you enjoyed it. Yeah, I'm excited about the blends because I have tried some, I, I, I'm at, I, I try everybody's little primal blends and there's one or two that I was like, ooh, no, I can, yeah. I, that don't yeah. taste like hamburger. <laughs> no, <Yeah. laughs> like, I'm, I'm a little bit, I was a vegetarian for 14 years. So for me eating meat at times, it's taken me years to go from like, super well done meat <laughs> like well right. like down to medium right. i don't do the rare i don't i don't i'm i have where i'm at in my life yeah. and that's okay that's and okay organs yeah. organs are a certain thing for me to deal with i well, love the liver and the heart crisps though crisps, nice. so i'm like Ooh, these are really good um and so i'm excited i usually try to eat most of my organs in the in the blends um, yeah and there's been are one you, or two i've come across that i'm like oh this is not good i mean oh, we've, we've all kind of stopped really... i'm like i can't eat it i couldn't give it to the dog <laughs> you know everything um, is is trimmed out too so there's not any like you know cartilage or tendons or anything like that so we we had done a lot of research prior to this prior to the launch and and talked to some some great carnivore friends of ours and um and obviously testing ourselves but um, to trim those out to uh, make a finer blend. So it's not any coarse stuff because people are real particular about their ground beef. And, um, and it, you know, we like to listen to our customers. Crazy yeah. as it seems, <laughs> but uh, we like to listen. So, um, you know, with that being said, we, we've got a, an amazing blend with the, the regular ground beef and, and we've got a leaner version and then the organ uh, blend that's, uh, that's amazing, so. Awesome. And, as a, and as a final test, we test it on our kids. Yeah. If yeah. they give something thumbs up. Yeah. Yeah. And how old are they? How old are your kids? Eight and ten. Oh yeah. Well that's for sure. Yeah. 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 Yeah, they can be and particular. Yeah. Yeah, they're they're particular. I think teenagers are worse, but you know. Yeah. Just so you know, I got one of those now. I could get my ear old eat pretty much eat anything. Sixteen is like a different story. I'm like, honey, just eat it. What is it? Don't care what's in it. Just can you just eat it? <laughs> <laughs> they ask a lot of questions at teenagers as teenagers. So tell them now you're in pre-sale, right? Tell yes. tell them how to get it and what's going what's the situation? Because I don't even yep. know what that means. You're in pre-sale. So we're in pre-sale. Um there's a limited amount um offered for pre-sale. And I think we've got about another week left on the pre-sale. Um, after that point, um, it'll be a very short uh, window, but it, it, the price will go up a little bit. So okay. um, so now's the time to buy uh, and it'll, they'll ship probably within the next four to five weeks, I'd say, okay. maybe less, um, yeah. but we're just kind of giving ourselves a little bit of a buffer um, yeah. before, the, before the holidays. And, um, and there's a list of, of all, all the cuts that they can expect. So um, not necessarily everyone, but it'll be a, 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 a mixture of those, anywhere from 18 to 22 pounds. So what you got was actually much less of what the customer will, will get. Okay. So okay. They'll, they can expect like four to six pounds more um, of, those, wow. of those cuts. Yeah. So wow, that's a big, it's a good a big deal. Box. I mean, yeah. yeah. And it's, it's um, I mean, you break it down, like shipping costs are crazy. That's all, yeah. it's all tied in. So they don't I have know. any additional costs. It comes frozen. Um, you know, in a nice cooler with dry ice or, or, or yeah. ice packs. So it's all ready to go. And, and we just set up our, our mobile on this, the website. So when they go onto carnivorecrisp.com, they can go and find Carnivore Prime and they can just easily search it as well. It Perfect. lists out everything there, the ranchers that we're using, and, um, and then they can set up uh, alerts on their phone. So when that time comes, when it ships, they know, hey, it's, it's, ho it's at home. It's a free two day uh, shipping and, um, you know, put it in the freezer and enjoy for the holidays. So awesome. Yeah. Now, and I will say, so in the box, there's a couple things that like the extras, like I know the yeah. tomahawk steak isn't a standard thing, but if they want to yeah. add that, they can add those in, right? They can add those in. Yep. Okay. Yep. Yeah. They can a expect things. like a, a lot of cuts that they're familiar with and, and, and ground products. And then they have the option of adding on those really bad right, we've right. got an amazing tomahawk have you tried the tomahawk yet you just i know i know i have okay. i only had the filet i mean i had the tomahawk out to cook it and i thought 
I get nervous on, on like, I'm, I mess things up. I'm like, I might okay. need somebody to help me with this. So I don't ruin it. <laughs> I, <laughs> like, I, I, yeah. I sometimes. Yeah, I well, get nervous. I, I'm like, if Tomahawk, you like guys, it, is this giant thing. It's a giant, yeah. giant steak. Yeah. Yeah. Um, somebody asked in their Canada options, do you ship to Canada? Not yet. We're okay. working on that. We okay. really want to. We, we uh, of course, with Carnivore Crisps and all of our uh, shelf-stable products, we're doing it. But we're trying okay. to find a, a reasonable uh, shipping option. Right now, it's yeah. like, you know. That'd be tough. Yeah, that would tough. be tough. Yeah. I mean, yeah. as lovely as it would be, I would tell people, try to find a local rancher near you and help them. Yeah. Out, you know, hook up exactly. with somebody. You know what I mean? Because exactly. Canada's far. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, that's, yes, that's one of the reasons how we started this Carnivore box, Carnivore Prime. Because it turned out that most of the subscription boxes for steaks, they are from New Zealand, Australia. Right, yeah. right. And meat is sitting quarantined. Yeah. For yeah, I'm sure you've all. How long? Yeah. And, yeah. I mean, yeah. literally, the, there's there's boats off the Long Beach shore that have been sitting there for three to six months. So um, yeah, I Ooh. wouldn't. Uh, yeah. So think twice. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, yeah. ours yeah. is all born, raised, harvested in the U.S. So. Right. They yep. can be proud of that, and they're helping out Which is really important. Ranchers. Yep. Yeah. Very important. Um, somebody asked a quick question. It was really cute. He goes, how do you cook the organ blend? I'm like, it's just like a hamburger. Really yeah. 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 It's, it's just ham ground it up, skilleted. You make I'm a, a big skillet fan. But uh, yeah. you know, open flame's great and all that stuff. But if you want like a, and it, even for your tomahawk, I would, I would suggest, um, you know, oh, one other thing. Um, so the tomahawk steering it and then finishing it off, uh, off in the oven checking your internal temperature. If you like a more medium or medium well, that would be your, your way of doing it. Cause okay. you've got, it's gonna take a little while to cook that bad boy. Okay, like but sear it on a cast iron. Cast iron, and then skillet, yep. put it and in the oven a little bit. Season it, sear it. Yeah, we're, okay. gonna, we're gonna, you know, throw out some tips and stuff like that. Cause I'm, okay, a, good. I'm a perfectionist when it comes to my meat. So. Yeah, I, I'm, it's, it's really pathetic the how I am. I'm like, well, I don't know, is it done? <laughs> <laughs> you know, even if, if if a person like me who hates the kitchen and doesn't want to do it, I can do the carnivore thing or eat a lot of meat. Something like you guys are making this way too complicated. Doesn't yeah. take much. Put some yeah. put some Redmond salt on it, you guys. Yeah. Put and it in all, a cast iron. Done. Yeah. Cook it in some tallow. These, you know, it's yeah. It, oh yeah. It's Use delicious. Of course. Yeah. Yeah. You don't need recipes. People say, "What's a recipe?" I'm like a recipe. No. Yeah. It's called salt. <laughs> That's, exactly. That's salt and heat. That's all I do. I, I'm not. You know. Keep it, keep it simple. All right, so they can pre-order. They'll get it in a few weeks. Yep. Um, and then when you're out, you're ready, out. By the way, too, I wanted to add that. So what? Say it for, again. So they're all sous vide ready. So they're packaged. Oh. Have you ever you've heard of sous vide? I right? have. Yeah. Basically have. cooking, and and honestly, I would really suggest that if you like to an easy way of cooking. Yeah. It's yeah. you know basically you put your little contraption, or you can just do low heat on, and a pot of water. And toss that steak in there. You can just and put that thing in there in yeah, the thing. Just oh. the way it is. It's got That's it's crazy. Packaged. Yeah, it's really cool. It's safe packaging. Oh. It's all tested. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So anyway, wow. just a little little add on. Yeah. Yeah. We, do you have that people on your website? Do they know that? Is it somewhere I, to like explain that? I don't know. I don't think, yeah. You need to put that in there. Yeah, we need to put people it need to know that. that. Yeah. yeah. That's that's <laughs> that's a selling point because a lot of people use those. I I don't. It seems complicated. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. Any other last, I'll let you guys get back to work. I know you're busy. Any of the last things you want people to know uh, about what you're doing, you guys? Because again, I'm all, uh, you know, we want to keep the love within the community and keep spreading the money among each other. And, you know, people who are taking a stand to help local American ranchers make nutrition dense food and, and protect the environment by not flooding the animals with, with drugs and hormones and, and pesticides everywhere. This matters and it regenerates the, the soil. It sequesters the carbon. You know, these animals are healing our planet and so, yeah. and they heal us. So we take care of them and they take care of us and that's how it works. And it makes a big difference, right? To not be getting yeah. your stuff shipped over from China, sitting in a ship for three months. That's a yeah. whole other, whole other problem. But so, anything else you want to add to them? To like Can where to go to get your stuff, and make sure you guys follow them. Um, you know, on Instagram as well, and you'll, you'll keep informed that way. Um, we just had a question uh, um, on the thread by uh, Bohemia. Um, oh, yeah. It is heat resistant packaging, so it's safe for up to two hundred and fifty degrees. So on sous vide, you typically cook yeah. under, you know, 100, depending on how you like it, but like uh, 160 tops, I'd say, 165 yeah. if you want it well done. 
Um, so it's, it's perfectly safe for that. But um, no, I think, I think you covered it all. And, and we're just super excited to launch this to the community and, um, you know, uh, get, get honest feedback and they're going to love it. Like uh, we, yeah. we love it. We've been living like this for, for a couple of years now. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so excited. Well, yeah, the, the products are, you guys have really done a great job. You know, that you, you, Thank you. high quality yeah. Redmond salt, you know, you, I love the little packet came with a little salt and then, and, you know, I was like, oh, look, they even give me some, yeah. you know, some Redmonds in there and using, you know, salt right from the American lakes, um, you know, clean stuff without the microplastics. A lot of people don't understand salt and what goes on in, in the salt industry, too. That's an interesting thing yeah. that you have the, you know, the forethought to do that. And so I, I wish you the best of luck. And it, it, it is Thank delicious. You. you know, it was it was really good. And I don't just say that, you know, you guys. So um, getting good meat, you know, really does matter. We're about to see some maybe some shortages and some price issues and some some problems. So I would say order your meat, get your meat, get get a freezer, <laughs> you know, stock up. Um, just in case, you know, like yeah. I, I got at least a half a cow in my house. Nice. <laughs> yeah. nice. I want to keep, I'm like, oh, more meats here, right? You, just never <laughs> know. you never know. You never know. Yeah. What's going to happen. All right. So carnivorecrisps.com. Yeah. That's it. Right. And then they yep. go to Prime and they'll learn yep. about um, ordering like steaks and stuff and getting a pre-sale while the price exactly. is lower, guys. Okay. Exactly. Yeah. Awesome. Well, was Thank thanks. You and so you know, much, Anya, I I'm, just want to say I'm so happy you're doing well. And, you. you know, continue to, to share that love. And if any of you have been struggling with, with any of these, with food addictions or eating disorders in any way, please look to the low carb community, the carnivore community for support yeah. and mm -hmm. get a clinician that understands this to help you, you know, uh, in your journey. It could be a lot simpler than you realize. You've probably been getting some bad advice. Okay? Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Have a good day, Thank guys. You. Thank you. Bye-bye. Right. Lots of love. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you.